Cape Cast. Howdy, folks. I'm Eric Williams, and welcome to Cape Cast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times. You know, we were out at the Tidal Flats Recreation Area in Bourne, just watching a nice sailboat come under the railroad bridge. What a sight! And then the railroad bridge started moving. We'd never seen it before in all the years we'd lived on Cape Cod. So we wanted to find out how does it work. Well, we had to speed up this footage five times just to show you what was happening. According to information from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the railroad bridge is a vertical lift bridge. That means the center span lifts up and down. After ensuring the canal is clear of large commercial traffic, the bridge span can be lowered for a train to cross. It takes two and a half minutes to lower the bridge. Counterweights are the secret to how the bridge moves. The 2,200-ton center span is counterweighted by two 1,100-ton concrete-filled steel-plated boxes that hang in each tower. The span is connected by 40 steel cables that hang in each tower. Construction for the current bridge began in 1933. The first train crossed the newly completed railroad bridge in 1935. Today, the bridge is mainly used by trains hauling trash to the waste-to-energy plant in Rochester. The bridge is also used by a seasonal dinner train. Here's a few fun facts about the bridge, courtesy of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. That's the entity that's in charge of the railroad bridge. The length of the center span is 544 feet. The vertical clearance above mean high water is 135 feet. And the high point of the bridge is 271 feet above mean sea level. And it's beautiful. Cape Cast.